isn't it, to host a small concert, and it's very special for us to be able to hear uh, the American equivalent of ranters who have come all the way over from, obviously, United States of America. Um, welcome, thank you very much indeed. I know you're going to give us lots of information. Uh, Richard, I can pass over to you and then... Yes, just to explain, uh, last year we took a group to uh, America called the Northumbrian Ranters, which I think quite a lot of you must know already, which is our county traditional group. And over there we met a number of groups, and one of them was obviously this group here, which we had a fantastic time. So we said, well, why don't you come back to Northumberland? And, of course, they have. So it's great to see them. And they're from Vermont, so have a think about where Vermont is. So I'd like to hand over now to Mark Sustick, who's going to say a couple of words, which I met Mark last year. Thank you very much, Mark. Okay, thank you, Richard. We're really happy to be here. My name is Mark Sustick. I'm a director of an organization called Young Tradition Vermont that all of these people that you see have been involved in. There are actually hundreds of young people that have been involved in, probably very much like the ranters. Um, what you see before you are a group of uh, 18, 13 through 18 year olds from various places in Vermont, but also from uh, Massachusetts and from Quebec. Uh, we have a few representatives from there, but the majority are from Vermont. And um, our musical director for this project uh, that started in November with monthly rehearsals and emails and PDF files and various other things is Pete Sutherland, and he's going to take over the program and tell you what you're going to be hearing and do a little bit more introduction. So welcome Pete Sutherland and Young Tradition Touring Group.
Thanks a lot. So that was a, a whole bunch of film music from your side of the world and our side of the world mixed together. We ended with one called Miller's Reel that was written just about 200 years ago, 175 years ago. And unlike a lot of fiddle tunes, we actually know who wrote it, but that's not really too common. And we proceeded that with a very ancient Scottish tune from probably just north of here called Money Musk that is so well traveled. We just don't even, we can't trace its roots very well, but we love to play it in New England. And then we proceeded that with two tunes from just west of here in Cumbria uh, that I learned from uh, a musician who lives over there, who's from here, two three two horn pipes. And um, we are now going to have uh, Nick Babineau, who's our special guest from Quebec, up north of us in Vermont, uh, lead off on a couple of tunes that he taught us from up in his part of the world. So you get a, a variety pack of uh, fiddle traditions for you. Take it away, Nick. <coughs> type of person playing the music, although some of these people could be said to be both fiddlers and violinists. 
say it's probably music that generally we don't know who wrote it, or if we did, they play a lot of music already that is from an old tradition, like we were saying, tunes that we don't know where they came from originally. This is another thing that you might sort of already have a feeling for listening to this music. Perhaps it reminded you of something you might do while the music was playing, other than sitting. Dancing. I would love to. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. All right. And uh, as you saw, a couple of the guys are tapping their feet, which is actually a tradition from mixed part of the world in k back is very popular now to do that. It's like having your own drum machine. Now these guys are standing up here without any violins, fiddles, or anything else. Uh, and that means they're going to sing a cappella, which is a word for what? Okay, music teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Wendy, where are oh, you? Oh, singing unaccompanied. Singing unaccompanied, yeah. that's right. No instruments involved here. And this is a tradition that Dana, our star in the middle, is going to tell you about. Uh, so now we're going to sing a type of music called Shapefield music, which is traditional American kind of church music, but it's, it's really exciting and fun to sing. Um, <coughs> but it definitely originated in America, and it's kind of our thing, and instead of reading music with the circles as the notes, uh, the shape note uses different shapes, like circles and triangles and squares, and that helps you read the music in case you can't read the note, noted music. Um, so for people who couldn't necessarily read anything, they could read shape note music. Um, and the song we're going to sing is called Africa. Back early 1700s. 
So now we're going to change the pace really a lot here <clears throat> and do a song from way south in the Appalachian part of the U.S., which is the mountainous region of the southeast, uh, where they have a very lively tradition of folk songs and uh, fiddle and banjo music. We don't have a banjo with us, unfortunately, here, several banjo players uh, in the crowd. But um, we're going to sing you a nonsense song. And actually, we hope that you will sing along. Do you think they would sing along? <laughs> oh, oh, pressure's on now. <laughs> All right. Eyes on your music teacher. Um, let's just chant the words here. Kai uh, Maniro, Kitty Come Kiro. Try that. Kai Maniro, Kitty Come Kiro. Kai Maniro, Kai Mo. Kai Maniro, Kai Mo. That's your part. Ba 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 billy illy in. Ba 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 billy illy in. Come in, come kitty, come kaimo. Come in, come kitty, come kaimo. Did that mean anything? <laughs> it's not even in American English. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so these folks in the front are actually standing up here in front, uh, not because they're the best looking, although they, they might be, but because they're actually going to do some dancing that we'll go into right after. Uh, and it's dancing, which is various called, called flat-footing, or clogging, or buck dancing. There's many names for it. Um, and they learned this just for this show right here. Uh, in your time. No, <laughs> they just learned it for this tour right here. So we're going to hear uh, a little bit of uh, southern uh, fiddle music from Oliver Scanlon and Nick Davino to accompany the dancing. But first, time will come. And you need to see. To my income, kitty come kind of. Watching a trailer man his coat to my income, kitty come kind of. Kind of hero, kitty come hero, kind of hero, kind of. Ba 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 the old man shot and missed his mark. To my income, kitty come kaimo. Shot that old south through the heart. To my income, kitty come kaimo. Kaimo hero, kitty come hero, kaimo hero, kaimo. Ah 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 ah, Billy and Liam come, come kitty come kaimo. Bring me some lasses on a spoon. To my income, kitty come kaimo. Till I go heal that old sales wound. To my income, kitty come kaimo. Come and hear up, kitty come here up, come and hear up, come on. Ba 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 ba, Billy and Liam come and come, kitty come, come on. The old sow is dead and gone to my income, kitty come, come on. The little ones all go waddling on to my income, kitty come, come on. Come and hear up, kitty come here up, come and hear up, come on. Ba 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 ba, Billy and Liam come and come, kitty come, come on.
Anybody have any questions? It's kind of a quiet group. What could we do to light a fire? They're just enthralled. Absolutely delighted to listen and see the energy. We'll introduce ourselves before the end of the program, so you can find out names, ages, maybe a little bit about them, but please feel free to ask a question anywhere along the way. Like, why are your shoes two different colors? Or, what's the bow tie doing on that new bag? <laughs> Important questions like that. They really give you a depth of So, um, somebody has an intro for this. Too. John, why don't you tell us about the, the new lands? Is it you? No, it's Mr. Burr. Mr. Burr, please tell us. So the next tune we're going to be playing is a waltz called This New Land. Uh, it was written by Otis Thomas when he moved from North Carolina to the maritime province of Nova Scotia, specifically Cape Breton. It's going to be started off by Dana Hart.
And little chicks and bunnies, there's critters everywhere. Each and every little life needs all my love and care. And the worst thing is trying hard to get rid of all the pests. But the best thing when your chores are done, I finally get to rest. And this land, it was farmland when I came, with a long, long history, many farmers named, and someday, when I have had my turn, I hope this land will still be farm. I'm Gabo and I'm 13. 
I'm Chris Craig, and I'm 16. I'm Jonna, and I'm 17. I'm David, and I'm 18, and I think that's really interesting to see as many sheep here as there are cows in Vermont. <laughs> I'm, I'm Julia, and, sorry, I'm Julia, and I'm 13. I'm Oliver Scanlon, and I am 18. I'm Dana Hartshorn, and I'm 17, and this is my first time in Europe, but it's, everything is so exciting. <laughs> I'm Lily, and I'm 14. I'm Nicola Bernou, and I'm 18. I'm Caroline Gessler, and I'm 18. I'm Kaylee I'm 14, and I've always loved it in Europe. I'm Isaac Cousin, and I'm 14. I'm Cooper Strong, and I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sasha See here that made this trip, there was probably at least two other people that would have loved to come along with us too. So we have, like the Rams, we have a very vibrant tradition in our area of, of frustration music now going. Uh, you can hardly, as we say, you can hardly swing a cat without hitting a fiddler. And uh, we do have a few other instruments here though. You notice there's two cellos in the back. You saw some guitars, you saw an accordion, and then Oliver's playing another instrument you may not know. Any guesses? In the front. You mentioned it. Wild guesses. I probably did. You did? You did. <laughs> I don't remember. No guesses? Oh, nobody wants to be wrong. I'll be wrong for you. Lady. Here, wrong? sacrificial lamb. Here. It's a yeah, it's okay. Did you say it's a mandolin? Mandolin. Very did good. Did you say it's nice. <laughs> So we're going to, we're going to, finish off here with another set of dance tunes. Um, and the last one, I'll work it backwards, the last one is actually a contemporary Scottish tune from here here, uh, composed by a fellow named Adam Sutherland, called Road to a Rogi. And before that uh, will be a tune composed by Mr. Scanlon, called On the Morgan Deck. Before that will be a tune from the Metis tradition of Western Canada, which is a mix of French and Native Canadian, uh, called Grey Owl. And before that is a contemporary Quebecois tune uh, called Maison de Glace. Any French speakers here? No? Yes? Maison. House. House, right. Glass. It's not ice cream. <laughs> Way back. No? Ice. Ounce cake. So we've got a nice house. The house of glass. Yeah. Yes, not a nice house. It's not an ice house. Not a nice house, it's a glass house. <laughs> well, it's actually a nice house. Nice. It's a nice house. Yeah. Some people said ice cream. I'm the food. That sounds pretty nice. It's a eucalyptus. The house of ice cream. 28 flavors. All right, so uh, let's see. We're going to. You need my guitar, don't you? Great. I'm such a nice guy. Just sat there all day. All right, this is our actually our very first concert that we're doing here, so you get to see us work all the, the kinks out. It's been very, very good not performing for you. Thank you very much. I know kids all thank you too. There is a question. Question over here. Pete. 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 Question. There's a question. Oh, a question. A light blooming question. Are you staying here the whole day? Staying here the whole day. No, we're going to Morpeth. We'll be there for the rest of the day doing various things. I think you're going to the Chantry Bagpipe Museum, aren't you? We are going there. Very yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah, um, to see some bagpipes, and um, and I think uh, Richard Johnston is uh, arranging to maybe have kids be able to try bagpipes. I don't know the wisdom of that, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, boys, take it away.
Um, I'd like to say thank you very much indeed. What I thought was so magical was the interaction and the enjoyment. The interaction from each and every one of you, with some of you with our children, with you with our players, uh, together side by side. You can see the eyes, the enjoyment in the body. It was just fabulous. Please, will you join with me to give them a very warm thank you very much. Like to say anything? No, just to echo what you said. Thank you very much for choosing this school to come and play to. It's been very enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. So, if you let the school go first, then we'll Okay. So, if you're here, fine.